Hi guys, Tal Rain here. Uh, it's been quite a while since I've uploaded. I've been really busy over the summer with work and of course now that we're taking a break from the Dark Angels for the moment I've been working on my Armies on Parade board for the last couple of months. Now I took up the Grey Knight board with the, the armoured train on last year and came sick. A couple of you guys might well remember it. So this is my one for this year and I'm going to win it. And uh, that, that's exactly how it's going to be. <laughs> Um, so this year, unlike last year, I didn't go for an actual GW board, I made my own. Got your basic uh, 4 inch insulation, but the really, really powdery one. And as you can see, I've got the base and all of this. This has literally just been put together today. Uh, I'm going to give you an update on the actual army that's going on here as well sometime today. But yeah, work in progress, number one, Armies on Parade 2012 UK, and we'll see you there guys. Hi right, guys, um, yeah, so you've just seen what this did look like, this is now what it looks like. Uh, as it's actually Sunday, it's now a week to games day, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to do a week of updates on the board, and actually upload some videos. So, I thought I'd give you a quick tour of the video, a uh, tour of the video, tour of the board. Because I'm going to be doing a competition about it, and it's also going into Joey Berry's competition for the just show him your painted army. So I hope you like it, Joey. Um, right, so this is what's going up the game day this year for me, and it's the Far Sight Enclaves. Now I will start at the bottom, or at the front, shall I say? Hang on. So we have Far Sight and a command group. It's only three suits. Just due to the fact that I didn't want too many suits hanging around with him. So there's Farsight. Two dudes and the commander's leaders. Now with a lot of these models I've gone for real action poses. And you can see there I've gone for little features like launching missiles. And crouching poses, energized shields. Just a bit of everything. Like right, I said, you'll, once I've finished going on a board I'll tell you what the contest is. And then behind that we have just a squadron of fire warriors beneath one of the, I think it's the crashed, uh, I can never remember the name of the ship, put it in the comments below. And these guys are moving forwards and moving into the water now, so they're going forwards, so the water is just there. And you can actually, if I just go down there, you can see the legs. Those guys still need a little bit of paint work on them because that's just been sorted out today because it's taken a long time. Some guys there scanning the water. The team's leader. Go this way. There's just two basic suits. Behind it is a dirty big crashed, the crashed cockpit of the, is it the Aegis or something like that? And then we have. Da 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 da! The XV101, which is in a video earlier, not painted at all. So this is what she looks like finished now. Sorry for the shadow, you'll see why there's a shadow at the moment. I'll do separate videos on this all after uh, game stay. And we have a squad of pulse carbines running to back up the guys going into the water. And we have two more normal guys with shield drones. And what we have one of the XV9s, and there's the other XV9. There is one more on the board, and you'll see him in a minute. Working my way up, we have the Bastion. Um, I am finishing off the Aquila on there, that will look slightly more battered and weathered, it looks a little bit boring at the moment. We've got half a squad of Fire Warriors and the other squad of Fire Warriors. Uh, some of these models aren't quite finished because they're taking a long time to do the weathered beat up look. So it's just taking a bit of time. And then we have a squad of converted Pathfinders up here. We have some rail rifles sitting in the top. Just directing the battle and then if we go this way this is what's causing the shadow over the XV-10 no, XV-101 uh, it's just one single piranha I did plan to do a squadron of them but it just looked a bit silly da 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 dum and then we have uh, Suicide XV-9 who if you look ugh, can't, I've done a lot of this smoke effect like I said so he's jump in like that and then on the bridge above we have a unit of stealth suits with a marker drone landing on the bridge as well 
is Farsight Second in Command. I haven't really thought of a name for him yet, but I've got some ideas. And one of his command suits. And there's the other squad. And then there's another man in there. You can just make him out. And then we have the Pathfinder's Devilfish. Which is again converted, because all of this army's pretty much had some form of conversion. Or is just a converted model. And we have one of the broadsides, the two marker drones, a squad of sniper drones, another two guys. Oh, there's another shadow, what could that be? There's another dude leaping, and a tube, what's that? More shadows, but that is a squad of sniper drones, and another broadside. Now to show you the Piast de Resistance of Zibord. Guys, this is the Sickle Pack gunship. She is a booty, and I am very proud of her. You'll get better looks at this, of course, at Game Stage. She's got some burst cannons, ion cannons, and stuff. She's transporting troops. Now, um, as I've told you, I haven't really been online very much, been gotten on with college work, and then I've just been at work. And I'm very sorry to all you guys subscribed that haven't really seen much so I'm going to do a contest and it depends on some circumstances but what it will be is I'm going to tell you three questions something to do with the board that you will need to answer on games day or after games day um, what it will be is there will be one prize it will be 20 quid of something off the GW website and then I can send it to you wherever you like just 20 quid's worth if it's under 20 quid, it's under 20 quid. And then I'll pay the postage and that if it's if postage is needed. If I win, it will then go, there'll be three prizes, one of 20 quid, and then another one of 10, and another one of five, which I know can't get you much, but it can get you some paint, because I'm not minted. But it, it's still a contest. So what are the three questions? Well, write these down, because you'll probably want to take them with you to games day. Question one, on the crashed ship, what is its squad number? So once again, on the crashed ship, what is its squad number? It is on the actual board and on the actual model. You might just have to look really, really hard. Next one, how many bleached bone coloured aquilas are on the board? Now I say on the board, so think laterally with that one, because it's a bit of a trick. You might need to look really hard to spot them all. And finally, as a little bit of a joke, I have made a Earthcast engineer just out of spare bits. And he is going to be hidden on the board somewhere. And you guys just need to tell me where he is. By kind of like saying he's next to this, behind this, where the big building is. Just, just give me a general idea so I kind of know what you're talking about. Alright, other than that, um, this board will then be at Games Day. And hopefully she'll win. I'm very proud of her. But if not, it's not the end of the world. So remember the contest guide, remember the questions. And I will see you in the next video.